If you are currently running a Google Ads campaign, I can almost guarantee that you've been receiving emails and notifications in your Google Ads dashboard that Google Analytics 4 is coming and that the universal version of Google Analytics will no longer be collecting data from the 1st of July, 2023. And the messages and the notifications from Google are all about the importance of you switching over to Google Analytics 4 and for you to switch over as soon as possible. And this is something that I totally agree with. And it is my very strong advice that by June 30 of this year in 2022, that you should have all of your analytics reporting and your conversion tracking set up in your Google Analytics 4 profile. And the reason for why I'm giving that June 30 this year as such a strong date to make sure that you have your Google Analytics 4 property set up and also tracking your conversions from Google Ads is so that you always have year on year data. Because as we know, Google is turning off Universal Analytics on the 1st of July, 2023. So by making sure that we have your Google Analytics 4 property all set up and ready to go by June 30 of this year in 2022, it'll make sure that you always have a very accurate year on year gauge of not only your analytics data, but also your conversions data, regardless of whether you're looking at the Universal Analytics profile or the GA4 profile, because you'll be able to export that data nice and easily out to other platforms like Google's Data Studio. And because that June 30 date in 2022 is coming up very, very soon, so in this video, I'm gonna focus on how you can set up your tracking in Google Analytics 4, including your conversion tracking. And this is gonna be done using Google Tag Manager. So in this video, I wanna make it very, very clear that I'm not gonna be going through the differences in universal Google Analytics and also Google Analytics 4. And the reason for that is because Google has made it clear that they are gonna be adding in some extra features and some extra reporting options into Google Analytics 4. And when they have all been released, that is when I'll actually do a full video explaining the differences between these two platforms. However, having said that, I do just wanna point out one major top level difference between the two platforms. When the universal version of Google Analytics was released, it was very much set about you being able to collect the website data and the conversion data from a user interacting on your one and only website. However, since universal analytics has been released, website behaviors have changed and a lot of businesses now will also have not only a website, but also different mobile applications. And this is the core difference between Google Analytics 4, is it allows you to seamlessly merge that data from your website and your mobile applications into one central place, being the Google Analytics reporting dashboard. So with all that said, let's get into today's teaching. And just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've been creating and optimizing profitable Google Ads campaigns all the way back since 2010. And right here is where I share all of the latest strategies which are working in Google Ads right now. So if you would like to keep up to date with those strategies and know exactly what is working in Google Ads so that you can use it to grow your own business or the businesses for your clients, why don't you give me a quick subscribe right now. Thank you so much, let's get into that teaching. And two quick final notes. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will be jumping between some different tabs, being my Google Tag Manager and also my Google Analytics 4 profile. But don't worry if you do miss some of the steps because if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll actually share a link with you where you can actually download my conversion setup guide using Google Analytics 4. And the second point that I wanna make clear is that in this tutorial, I'll be actually setting up conversion actions in Google Analytics 4 using triggers which have already been set up in my Google Tag Manager profile. So if you haven't done this yet and you don't know how to complete these steps, what I will do is at the end of this video, I'll share a link with you so that you can go through and watch some further teaching, which takes you through the step-by-step -step process in how to use Google Tag Manager and also set up those conversion triggers so that you can let Google know which exact actions you want recorded as conversions on your website. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into that screen teaching. Okay, so we wanna get started in our Google Analytics 4 profile, but also what we do wanna make sure is that in another tab, you also have your Google Tag Manager profile open and ready to go. Now there's three core steps to this process. And the first thing we need to do is that we need to actually make sure that our Google Analytics 4 is actually tracking and working on our website. 
And then from there, we wanna go through and set up the tags in Google Tag Manager, and then also set up those triggers and make sure they are working. And as I said in this example, because we've already got some existing triggers and tags set up in Google Tag Manager, we'll be using these existing triggers which we know are already working and just assigning them over to our Google Analytics 4 profile. So the first thing that we do need to do is that we need to set up a separate tag in Google Tag Manager so that we've got Google Analytics 4 tracking on our website. And the way that we do that is that we need to actually copy over our measurement ID. Now, if you haven't actually activated this and Google Analytics 4 isn't actually recording any data on your website, you will see a bar pop up here. Or the other option is you can go into the admin section, click on data streams, then click on the stream that you want, which is this one for us. And then from there, we wanna copy this measurement ID in here. And then from there, we wanna go over to our Google Tag Manager, go into Tags. Now I've already got my Google Analytics 4 tags set up in Google Tag Manager, but if you don't, you just click on New, and then we can call it GA4. And then from there, you need to choose the tag configuration. And in this one, you wanna make sure that you actually select this option, which is the Google Analytics GA4 configuration. And then this is where we paste in our measurement ID. And then from there, when we go into triggering, we just select all pages and then press save. And then from there, you can actually see that our GA4 configuration is working in here. And now that we've got our Google Analytics 4 tag working in our Google Tag Manager, the next thing that we wanna do is actually to set up a new tag so that we can set it up as a triggering action in our Google Analytics 4 profile. And to do this, what we then need to do is we need to select new tag. And this is where you can call it a name that you wanna call it. Now in this instance, the conversion action that we're gonna be recording is for when people actually fill out this form on the contact page of our website. And because that's what we're actually tracking, I'm just gonna make this very simple and call this form submission. And I am just gonna add a little note here saying GA4. And that's just because I do still have some universal analytics conversions in this tag manager. So I'm just putting it there so that I know the difference between universal analytics and also GA4. And then when we go into our tag configuration, we're not selecting this GA4 configuration. This time we're actually selecting Google Analytics GA4 event. And then from there, you go to this configuration tag, drop down box, and ours is called GA4. Select that tracking code that we just set up. And then we wanna actually go through and add the event name. And I'm just gonna be using the same one and pasting form submission in here. Now, as I said earlier in this video, because I've actually got some active triggering actions in my Google Tag Manager, I don't need to set up this triggering section again. I can just simply assign some triggers, which I know already work, and just send them over to my Google Analytics 4 profile. And the way that we do this is we go into our trigger, and I know that this form submission is the one that we want, and then we go through and press save. And as simple as that, we have now actually got our Google Analytics 4 tracking, and we've also set up a conversion action, which is the form submission. And now the next step that we need to do is that we wanna go through and preview and actually make sure that this conversion action will actually trigger and fire on our website. And to do this, we click on preview, and then we copy in the URL, which is our website in here, and then we press connect. Now this will actually open up a new window and what we wanna make sure is we wanna make sure we're seeing this tag assistant and we wanna making sure that this is actually connected. And then from there, we navigate through to the page where we want the conversion action to work, which is this one in here. And we can see that our tag assistant is still working. And then we wanna do a test conversion action. So because in this instance, we actually wanna test and make sure that this form is working when we submit the form. So we just need to do a test form submission. So I'm gonna put my information in here. And then I always write something like conversion test. And I'll let the no conversion test, no reply needed. And then we actually need to go through and press send on this form. And then once that's been completed, go back into your tag manager. And this is where we can actually see which tags have actually been fired. 
So we can actually see on here that we've got our Google Analytics. So now that we know that our Google Analytics 4 profile is working on our website, and the other thing that you can see in here is that our form submission with our Google Analytics 4 profile has actually fired as well. So that lets us know that our conversion action is actually firing and triggering and that we know that it's working. And then the next important step, which you need to make sure that you do not miss, is that you actually need to submit these changes on Google Tag Manager. Because if you don't press submit, it actually hasn't pushed over these new triggers that you've set up. It doesn't actually push them into your Google Analytics 4 profile. So if you don't press submit, you will actually not see these events and these conversion actions in your Google Analytics 4 property. So press submit. If you want to, you can actually make some changes here. So we might say Google Analytics 4 form submission. And if you want to as well, you can add in some extra changes, but I'm gonna leave that blank. And then we press publish. And then that's done. We've actually set up Google Analytics 4 in our Google Tag Manager. We know it's working on our website. And then we've also set up our first conversion action, which is recording an action once someone has actually filled out that form on our website. Now it's very important to note that even though that is actually done, that it's not finished yet. And we need to go back into our Google Analytics 4 property. And you wanna go down into this section, which is the configure section. And you want to go into your current events. Now what I need to make very, very clear is that when you actually set up those new events in Google Tag Manager, so you can see this form submission one here, that it does actually take up to 24 hours for this to be seen in your Google Analytics 4 profile. So this event here, this email click event, I set this up last week, but it actually took 24 hours before I actually saw this in the events section. So don't be worried if you go through and set it up in Google Tag Manager, and you don't see it here in the events section because it does take up to 24 hours for it to come into this view. And then once you see the events, what you will see is you will see that Google Analytics 4 has already got some things in there like clicks and first visits, page views and scrolls. But what we need to do is we need to make it very, very clear of which actions we actually want to be converted as conversions and which actions we only want to run them to remain as events. And the simple way that you do this is that once you actually do see your event that you've set up in Google Tag Manager in this event section, you just quickly use this toggle to either mark it as a conversion or to keep it as an event. And once we've marked it as a conversion, when you go down into conversions, you can actually see right in here that it's marked as a conversion. And then from there, all we need to do is go into our Google Ads profile, go into tools and settings, and then under measurement, select conversions. And what we wanna do here is we wanna actually import our conversion actions from our Google Analytics 4 profile into Google Ads. Now, what I also do wanna mention is that to complete this step, you do need to actually first link up your Google Ads and your Google Analytics 4 profile, which can actually be done also under this tools and settings, set up and then going into your linked accounts. And if you haven't followed that process before, as I said earlier in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a link with you to another teaching video which takes you through these steps. And once that's actually linked, you just go into new conversion action and we wanna import these conversions. We select Google Analytics 4 and then also make sure that we're selecting the web option, press continue. And then from there, we can actually select the goal that we wanna import. Now the reason for why we're not seeing that conversion action which we just set up, which is that form submission, is because remember that we need to wait 24 hours before that conversion action becomes live. And once we're happy with that, we just press import and continue. And that's how you can easily set up conversion actions in your Google Analytics 4 profile using Google Tag Manager and then taking it that step further and importing it into your Google Ads campaign. And if you missed any of those steps or if you'd like to download my free conversion guide for Google Analytics 4, you can do that by following the link in the description below. And if you wanna learn more about setting up conversion actions using Google Tag Manager for your Google Ads campaign, including how to link together your Google Analytics and also your Google Ads accounts, and also how to set up those very important triggering actions in Google Tag Manager, you can do that by watching this video right here. And then remember that switching over from Universal Analytics 
over to Google Analytics 4 is not the only important action that you need to make sure you've completed by June 30 of this year. And that's because Google is also removing the ability for you to be able to upload or edit any current expanded text ads. So if you wanna learn more about responsive search ads and how to use them correctly, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in one of these two videos right now.